My name is Sydney Washington Bowden, and today I'm here at Olympic Park in Schaumburg, Illinois, where the Spring Swing Invite and the Fast Pitch Slug Fest are being held today. We've got a lot of festivities to attend to today. So let's play ball. Batter up, folks, because we're in Schaumburg. Welcome to the home headquarters of Seminole Sports. Talk about a bright, sunny, and windy day. Perfect for outdoor fun and tournament play here at Olympic Park. We had a long lineup of baseball and softball teams ready to compete in this breezy, humid weather. Starting with day two of our spring swing invite, the Glenview Patriots Red in the 10 and under division defeated FCA Impact Ray with a sweet sweeping victory of 8-0 in field two. The Patriots' Tyler R. brought a home run win as the team managed with five runs in the third inning, leading 6-0 at the top of the fourth. They also earned another win against Satidius, Illinois, 14-4, a tough loss for the opposing team. But lucky for Sidious, they came back fighting with outstanding plays, winning 21-11 to the Palatine Bulldogs by the next match. What a good comeback. The Arlington Cardinals, coached by Bob and John Suvada at Sinemino Sports, are one of the nine U Division baseball teams to secure their spot in advance to day three of the Spring Swing invite on Sunday. Great teamwork and congrats on your big win over the nine new Glenview Patriots with 11 to three and the Wheaton Warriors nine to seven. The Rhino baseball team from the 8U division will also join the advancing teams. It's a good feeling to be moving on and keep on keeping on. The, the fields are so nice and uh, every, everything's been really well, really well organized. First game when I hit that double. Day two of Slugfest was off to a lively start. The tournament was not one to miss out on, as our 12 and under softball teams geared up for a great day of softball all around in fields four and five. The Lady Devils had such a dynamic showing on the field today during a match against the Muscle softball team. With two home runs, these girls were on a roll. And the KR fast pitch and Manuka mudslides clapped up a smash hit gameplay. It's definitely one to remember. Tournament directors Keon Weathersby and Brandon Case weighed in about how they keep these types of baseball and softball sporting events organized. So first and foremost, I want to make sure that the umpires are here and they're ready to go and they have all the information that they need. Uh, make sure that all the teams are checked in. The coaches know what fields they're playing on, uh, where to warm up, up at, and things of that nature. So it makes it a lot bit easier so people know where they're going. Um, obviously, let them know where the facilities are, be it restrooms, concessions, things of that nature. There's always one or two fields that sometimes fall behind on big sites like this one having five sites. I trust the umpires, you know, uh, you kind of got to be a little forceful sometimes with some of these uh, coaches. You're like, hey, all right, you, they should be warmed up, let's get going. But, you know, uh, most of the time, they realize their everyone's time is is uh, is precious on these weekends. But when you have beautiful days like uh, even like today, you know, can't complain. 